extreme weather, climate change, rising sea levels, and threatened marine life. These are a few of the environmental issues facing us today. But researchers and scientists are meeting these challenges head on with the partnership of NOAA and the University of Miami's Cooperative Institute of Marine and Atmospheric Studies, better known as CMIS. CMIS is housed on the campus of the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine, Atmospheric, and Earth Science, a renowned leader in Earth System Science since 1943 and within one of the largest private research and academic institutions in the southeastern U.S. Its location is key at the crossroads of tropical meteorology, significant climate-related oceanographic processes, the single largest coral reef track in the continental U.S., and directly across the street from NOAA's Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Laboratory and the Southeast Fisheries Science Center. As a NOAA Cooperative Institute established in 1977, CMIS connects university personnel with scientists at federal agencies to share research, data, and resources that can put science into action as fast as possible. The goal here is really to enhance collaboration so that when NOAA is faced with an emerging science need, a research need that that's really requires a rapid response, it can rely on the University of Miami to help provide the expertise. And it allows us to really have our research reach out into the federal government and become operational so that we can actually affect people's lives very rapidly. The U.S. federal government came to us to help develop a tool that's being used to predict flood risk today. And we've made great progress. If you look at hurricane forecasts, the track improvements from the baseline of 20, 30 years ago today is remarkable. We've helped understand operational fish stock assessments. We've done incredible things in terms of understanding how ocean acidification affects coral reefs. SEMA scientists have been actively involved in NOAA's climate research studies and tropical weather observation methods. There are only a couple of groups in the world that routinely fly into hurricanes. The Air Force is one and NOAA is the other. So this relationship with NOAA and the University of Miami is extremely unique. So when we fly, we're not only providing observations to the forecasters at the Hurricane Center, but we're also sending that data to the models to improve the forecast models. We're trying to develop new ways of measuring the environment of hurricanes, new models that can predict that intensity, whether it's launching little weather stations with parachutes outside of the plane, tail Doppler radars that give you a 3D x-ray of what the storm looks like. It's the research that advances our understanding of hurricanes. Protecting our coastlines during extreme weather is also the focus of studies being done by NOAA and SEMA scientists. A large factor of coastal and economic resilience is measured by the health and conservation of our coral reef systems. The reefs are being affected by ocean warming, ocean acidification, uh, outbreaks of coral disease, as well as poor water quality. And we need to understand how multiple stressors interact and what we could do to make the environmental conditions better for reefs to thrive. At the Experimental Reef Lab, we're always seeking for new technologies and innovating to incorporate cutting edge uh, advances. Maintaining a healthy reef system is vital to coastal communities from an economic perspective too. Coral reefs in Southeast Florida have an asset value of $8.5 billion, generating $4.4 billion in local sales and 70,400 full and part-time jobs. The cooperative's NOAA-driven research has created a legacy for the university. Together, they've developed cutting-edge advances that have made the University of Miami a leader in the field of atmospheric and marine studies. For graduates working directly with NOAA scientists, it allows students to get involved early on with pragmatic problem solving instead of exclusively studying academic theories. My entire PhD was funded by a CMIS PhD fellowship. My third day into my PhD, I was out on a boat in Key Largo, diving at night, doing coral spawning dives. You know, my whole PhD was really centered around coral reproduction and coral juveniles, and all of that came from these spawning dives that I was able to do with the CMIS team. Now I'm a senior research associate. I continue to work with the CMIS team. I'm an expert on coral reproduction, and I run a whole team that's working on raising coral babies and using them for reef restoration. NOAA-funded research has expanded our learning and knowledge, it's accelerated research advancements, and it's generated actionable science. If we lose our coral reefs, tourism goes away, fisheries will collapse, and so the research we do is protecting that. 
weather forecast, hurricane forecast is what's going to happen with sea level rise and how the, you know, the Atlantic circulation is affecting that. This is science that governments can take advantage of. That all of these things affect people's daily lives. And this is what the University of Miami Rosenstiel School is all about, the Cooperative Institute and our collaboration with the NOAA folks and everything they do. It's making lives better. NOAA and the University of Miami's CMUS, working together to embrace challenges, create solutions, and put science to work.